Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Last week, uh, on the way to Thanksgiving, uh, I talked about the difference between being content, being happy, and being thankful. Uh, they're definitely three very different things that work together uh, that people often all conflate into one thing. Uh, and, and that, as I said last week, can be a little problematic. Well, this week, I want to talk about three other things that, that often get lumped together, also in the theme of Thanksgiving. Uh, and those three things are gratefulness, happiness, and acceptance. Gratefulness and thankfulness are the same thing. I uh, talked about that a bit in the last video, uh, just interchangeable terms for the same thing, and that is being appreciative of what you have and where you get it from. So that's showing uh, your, your gratefulness to the people who are around helping you out, the people who have come before you, uh, whose work you are building on, and uh, don't forget yourself in this, be thankful, be grateful for your own work that you've put into uh, everything that you do, that you create, that you are. So uh, this is not something that uh, a lot of people think about. Uh, they think that being thankful for what they do themselves, what they can do themselves, gets a little narcissistic, gets a little off-putting to other people. Well, it's all in how you do it. There, there, there's one thing is understanding what you're capable of uh, and making use of it. It's another thing to be arrogant and boastful and just a straight up dick about it. Uh, use your skills to belittle other people. That's not cool. But uh, to be thankful for the skills and the knowledge that you have gathered yourself, yeah, pat yourself on the back for that. You put work into that. That's a good thing. So thankfulness in that sense uh, is a good, positive thing uh, all around. Uh, spread it around, uh, you know, because if you spend all your time focusing on the great stuff you've done, you're not paying attention to all the things that had to happen in order for you to be able to do those things. Now, happiness, again mentioned it a little in the last one, uh, the difference between being happy and being content. Uh, happiness is something that can drive you forward. Being content is something that, while not necessarily bad, can lead to stagnation. In this case, I want to talk about happiness versus unhappiness and how that plays into thankfulness. When you're happy, it's really easy to be thankful for everything around you. Uh, when things are going great, happy is easy. When things aren't going so great, when you're unhappy with a situation or with the choices you have to pick from, or maybe even with who you are right now, it's really tough to be thankful for anything. Uh, it's, it's a very negative place to be when you're unhappy, and it's tough to see the positives there. It's also the most important time to take stock and realize all of the good stuff that you have going for you. To realize that while you may not be happy where you are, there's not necessarily any reason to not be thankful that you are where you are right now. No matter how good or how, how bad it is, maintaining that concept of thankfulness can help pull you out of an unhappy situation because what it does is it allows you to see opportunities and you don't talk yourself out of them. When you're unhappy, it's really easy to see the negative in everything because, well, you're soaking in it. So you forget if you don't make note 
of what you've been thankful for in the past, that there is that potential for good, for things to change, for the better. So that's uh, the important thing with happiness and unhappiness in relation to thankfulness. Acceptance doesn't mean that you're happy with where you are. It just means you recognize where you are and you realize that it's right now. It is not forever. It is not what's always been. It is right now. If you accept your situation in the moment, you can then begin to figure out how to change it. Because if you spend all of your time denying the situation that you're in, be it good or bad, you can't get a good foothold on what you can do to either make it better or move it in a direction where you actually really want to go. And it's fine. You can get along rolling through life, drifting without ever taking that stock of what's going on right now and just rolling with everything that comes at you. But if you want to take some active control, you have to learn to accept the good and the bad. I've seen a lot of people that can't accept good things in their life because they don't think they deserve them, because they're suspicious of what may be lurking behind those good things, of other people's ulterior motives. And I've seen people much more often uh, think in terms of when things are bad that you shouldn't accept them, that you shouldn't accept them, you should just fight to make it better, to get out of that situation. Well, without a milestone to start measuring from, you're not going to really be able to tell how far you've progressed. So you have to accept where you are because that is your starting point. And every single day is another chance for another starting point. So every single day you have to accept again where you are and then you can look back at those other points of acceptance and see the progress you've made. Without acceptance, it's really easy to get thrown into a spiral, either a negative spiral where nothing's ever going to go right because that's just how it always is. The universe hates me. My life is just awful. So you have neither thankfulness or happiness or acceptance in that case. And that's a really bad place to be. Or you can choose to accept where you are right now. And you can say, I'm not happy with where I am now, but this is where I am now. And I can see how I've gotten out of situations like this before. I have the support system, I have the skills, I have the will to do this. And for that, I am thankful. No matter how bad things are, there's always a chance for them to change. How it changes is very much connected to how we look at those situations. And as we approach the Thanksgiving season and the rest of the holiday season where we know things can get really stressful, it's very important to become aware of how you look at your situation on a daily basis. So go out there, pay attention to your life, and choose to be thankful. Choose to be honest about how happy you are or aren't, and choose to accept where you are as the starting point for going to where you want to be, for becoming who you want to be. So talk to me down in the comments. Tell me how you keep track of how happy you are and how you come to terms with uh, being grateful for things that you're not so sure would go over well if you admitted you were grateful for them. And finally, tell me about 
how you accept situations, both good and bad. If you like the things I've been saying, give me a thumbs up down below the video. If you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you get notified of these things as uh, they come out. And if you know anyone who would be interested in this stuff or would find it useful, share this with them and let them get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.